Welcome to this tutorial on creating a more accessible PDF document within Adobe InDesign. There are certain steps that are needed to help define a proper document structure for accessibility. Here's an overview of what we'll be covering today. We'll go over creating paragraph styles, defining export tags for them, mapping them to their respective tags, adding alt text to your images and icons, and using the articles panel to create proper flow of your design. Let's jump right in. This process can be done either before or after you've completed your design. The first step is defining typographic styles for text elements you've created on your page. This can be done via the paragraph styles window within InDesign. You can access this by visiting window, styles, paragraph styles. This will pop up a new dialog window. And in here you'll see something that says basic paragraph. This is just basic text styles applied to any text you've created by default using InDesign's text tool. The next step is selecting all the text elements you've created, for example, H1. Select that and click on the Create New Style icon. Doing this will create a new paragraph style for the Heading 1 element. You can double click and within this dialog, you can give your paragraph style a name. So let's call this heading. Now within here, you can change basically every format and setting for this specific text. You can go up to your font size, and then spacing tabs, kerning, etc., etc. The main thing we're looking for here now is the export tagging, this last option. At the very bottom, you will see PDF and the tag option, which is set to automatic. For this, we want to define our own. They give you several options, P, change for paragraph, H for heading, and different levels of heading elements, H1 through 6, H1 being the largest, H6 being the smallest. For heading 1, we will select H1, and you click OK. You will see this renamed the paragraph style 1 to heading. We will do this for the other text elements. The paragraph by default is set to basic paragraph. You can leave this as is as it will export as a basic paragraph element. But let's say you have multiple paragraphs with different styles on the page. You would want to create separate paragraph styles for each of them. For this, we have a serif text. I'll select it, create new style. We'll call this serif paragraph. Export tagging. We'll give this a P tag. We'll click OK. Now we've defined our paragraph styles. We can reuse these styles throughout our entire design. So let's say we create another text element over here. Call this Hello World. As you can see, this takes on the same format and style as the Heading 1 element. Plus, we want to change that to Heading 3. All we have to do is select the text. Click on sub subheading. Now it took the same style as a heading 3 element. Let's look at how to create tags for your paragraph styles. For this, you will go to Window, Utilities, Tags. Tags basically allow us to label all of our elements on the page so when they're exported, they're properly titled. For a screen reader to recognize. By default, we have the root tag, which encompasses everything on your design. For this, we'll be creating some new tags. So we'll try to mimic what the export tagging looks like in the paragraph styles. So we'll do H1, H2, H3, H3 for paragraph. Let's do some additional ones for images. And that should be fine. If you click on this little menu icon over here, you can see you have several options. One thing to check is the tagging preset option. By default, you can see images will be mapped to our images that we created, table cells, table, story. These will be created if the element exists in your design. 
one we want to pay attention to is mapping styles to tags. We click on this and this opens up this dialog window. Now as you can see, it shows you the same paragraph styles that you've created previously over here to the left and then the tag on the right. So for this, let's start with the H1 since that's the first one we created. Click the drop down, you'll see the tags we've just created. H1, 2, 3, images, P. As you remember, we mapped the heading element to an H1 tag, so we'll do the same right here. P subheading, we mapped it to an H2, sub subheading, H3, paragraph, we'll set it to a paragraph. Click OK. Now all the text elements on the page are now mapped specifically to the tags we've created. They'll be highlighted by the color of the tag we created. H1 yellow, you'll see this bracket around it, that's in yellow, magenta for H2, and so on and so forth. Now you'll notice the images don't have any, and that's because we need to manually select the images and click on the images tag. Do the same for this icon. These will be tagged, but you won't be able to see them like the text. Now once you've done that, you've now successfully created paragraph styles, mapped them to the export tags, created your tags to match the same tags you use for the export tagging in the paragraph styles, and selected your images and mapped them to the tag you've created. The next step is adding alt text to images. For this, you will select your image, Go to object, object export options, this dialog appears. You want to make sure you're in the alt text tab. By default, you're on the from structure, which doesn't allow you to edit anything in the, in the text box. Select the drop down and choose custom. And since we selected BB-8 from Star Wars, we'll just choose BB-8. Now this gives it an alternative text, which is not seen but will be recognizable by screen readers. We'll do the same for the book icon, export options, choose custom, let's just get this one book icon, and hit done. You've now successfully created alt text for your images in the design. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the articles panel. Now the articles panel allows us to define sections of our design which act like groups. The order you create in the articles panel will define how your document will be read by a screen reader. So let's open up the articles panel and learn how to do this. We go to window and click on articles. This will open up a new dialog window. Let's just resize this. And within here, you'll see this icon here to create a new article. Now you can create one article for your entire design if you'd like. So this example tutorial covers the entire design. We'll click OK. You'll see it here. To use the articles panel, you will start selecting the text elements you've created in your design and drag them under the tutorial article you just created. Do the same for the second element third, and the paragraph. Now the articles mainly accept text elements as those will be read by the screen reader in the order you've placed them. Images, if you add them to it, like such, will show up in the articles panel but it won't be exported to be read by a screen reader as you can't read an image. So for this, we'll just delete this. Now using the articles panel, when a screen reader reads the PDF, it will start from heading one, then go to heading two, heading three, and then a paragraph. But let's say you had a custom design where you wanted heading one to be read first, then the paragraph. You simply have to drag the paragraph beneath the heading one element and now the screen reader will read your PDF starting with heading 1, paragraph, then go to heading 2, heading 3, and continue on and on and on.
After you've added all the text elements and made sure they're in the order you want, you're good to go. And let's look at exporting the PDF. We'll go to File, Export. Make sure you select in Interactive. As selecting Adobe PDF Print, we'll strip all of the tags and you've set and the articles, the layout structure you've set. So we we'll select Interactive. Hit Save. Paste that. In this dialog window, under the general, you will look for options. You want to make sure create tagged PDF is checked and use structure for tab order. We've done the export. I'll export your PDF. And there we have it. Doesn't look much different, but underneath, everything's in place for a screen reader to read the document as you would like and recognize the images as alt text. As you can see, if you hover it, it gives you a description of what the image is. DB8, if you hover here, book icon. That covers everything for this tutorial. I hope you find it very useful. Thank you.